Hello, my lovely clients. I am Stephanie, for if you have not met me in person yet. Um, I'm recording this video um, to explain some of the information that's in the packet that will be going home with your puppy um, due to the social distancing recommendations being extended to April 30th at this point. I don't think we'll have the opportunity to have this conversation in person as I usually do with my clients. So anyways, you're going to be getting a packet of information with all this stuff in it in a bag like this. Um, and oftentimes people have questions. So um, if you have um, any further questions after this video and reviewing it, please reach out and have a conversation with me and I'm happy to um, answer them in more detail. So first off, your puppy is going to be microchipped. We do that the day before they leave. So that actually is implanted under the skin um, between the shoulder blades. If your puppy has a little scab there or something, a couple days after you get it, you notice that. That's what it's from. Uh, it's really not a big deal. It's quite painless for them. It's done with treats, and they're more interested in those yummy, delicious treats than they are, um, you know, what feels like probably a shot um, being put, you know, between their shoulder blades. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, they, they hardly ever notice it. Anyways, it's done with this. You're going to get this packet empty without this because it will already be used. Little stickers in there have the microchip number on them. So find that in the packet. Um, with that, it's very, very important. Please don't be that person that doesn't register the microchip in your name. I ordered them, I put them in, they're in my name. If your puppy shows up somewhere and they're um, scanned and the microchip is red and you don't um, register them in your name, they're gonna call me. And then time is wasted. It takes me time to figure out who that puppy belongs to. So let's not waste time that your puppy is scared, I'm sure, somewhere waiting for you to come pick them up. Have them call you directly. So to do that, fill out this information online. It has instructions on how to do that. Your microchip number will be on here. This is paid for. I pay extra for you to not have to pay more to register your puppy. So if you don't use this, it's also wasted money. So um, use it, take advantage of it, put your puppy in your name if you plan on keeping it. <laughs> All right, next piece of information is just an information card. Um, it's um, just information about your puppy as far as who its parents are, um, that um, it was microchip, microchip uh, sticker, one of them will be placed here, and it's birthday as a reminder. Please also know that your puppy has been wormed at two, four, six, and um, eight weeks old, uh, right before it leaves. Um, also, we'll be sending home with you um, Albon. It's done for an entire week, just for preventative measures. Doesn't mean your puppy has anything, but it's to prevent coccidia, basically, for if they were to have it. Um, so it's, we have found, um, we do that a few days before they leave. It's every day. You'll have instructions in the packet on how to do it. It's very easy, and you're just gonna do it for a few days into the time that you have them because it is actually a high-stress situation to go from a place that they know really well and is home to them to another home that's not quite home yet. And some, if they were to have that, that sort of thing can kind of brew up, and having the medication to prevent that is why we do it, okay? So please uh, finish off that medication so your puppy can be well. Uh, just have some cards in here, our cards. Here is the recommended vaccine schedule. It's for you to keep and have on hand and even bring to your vet if you want to so that they don't talk you into more. Um, we recommend this strict vaccine schedule due to the fact that your puppy is a piebald breed. The black and tans on a goose's litter are not. That's very cool, um, it, but it is still you know, quite important that you follow this recommended vaccine schedule. If you do not follow this, if you get one of the two following things, um, you will void your five-year health guarantee. You paid for that. So I wouldn't get Lepto or Lyme, or you will void your guarantee. It's also not good for your puppy, in my opinion, and what science has shown us. These recommendations are all recommendations of Dr. Dodds. She is a scientist and a well-known veterinarian. 
okay? These aren't just my recommendations. This comes from an actual professional, okay? <laughs> I'm not calling myself a professional in the vet world. Okay, so if you have any more questions about this, please call me. Diet feeding guidelines, okay, and recommendations. You know what your puppy has been on, what it's been weaned on um, as far as food goes. I sent that information to you. If you need it again, let me know, no problem. Um, you know, we highly encourage a raw diet. I know that's new for a lot of people and they're not quite convinced maybe that that's the way they should be feeding their puppy. Let's have a conversation about it um, and I can give you more information. Um, if you want to feed your puppy a kibble diet, that is your choice. My recommendation though is if you choose to do that, you can better that diet greatly by adding just a little bit of raw each day or maybe once a week, just some. Um, it doesn't have to be straight up raw out of a package of, you know, raw hamburger meat kind of thing. They make dehydrated foods made by Stella and Chewy, Primal. You can find these things at most um, pet uh, stores these days and online. Obviously, I think we're all shopping online at this point when it comes to our dogs, but it is fully available. Let's talk about it if you have questions. For those of you who have puppies that are going into our training, our puppy kindergarten, we need to talk about this the day you pick your puppy um, because I need to have on hand what you plan on feeding them because we don't want to change their diet once again um, once they go home with you. Okay, less changes the better. Makes it easier for the puppy, I think. All right, that actually reminds me. Um, actually, that's not gonna apply uh, in today's world. It probably shouldn't be sending me anything from your home. I was going to suggest that if you wanted to send me a little blankie or something with the smells of, of you to kind of introduce to the puppy, um, that you could do that. But I'm thinking that may not be a good idea with everything that's going on right now. This information here is from True Panion. It is um, a um, insurance for your dog. We offer, or actually they offer to you for free, 30 days of um, insurance for your puppy. The only catch is you need to um, register your puppy or sign up for it uh, within 24 hours of picking up your puppy from us. Um, or whenever the handoff is, <laughs> okay? Um, so there will be another piece of paper um, with this that you can do online or call them. It's very easy, it's free, take advantage of it, I say. This here is just a little packet um, that shows that your puppy's um, DNA was tested for proof of parentage reasons. This tag is of no use to you or me anymore. Um, it just has their DN number that identifies them in their system and then uh, tells us who the parents are. Obviously we know who the mother is, but in both of these litters, Goose and Chloe, they were bred to two different males. So uh, one would you know, say that this is a multi-sired litter. So DNA is the only way that's really going to 100% show us who fathered who. As you guys know, some of those are still out um, and they're re-swabbing. We'll be using the second swab that we sent in for them uh, to hopefully have um, enough DNA on it to show who the fathers are. So I'm sorry that that's taking longer than expected, but sometimes that does happen. Um, I wonder with what's going on if Maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't know. I'll certainly be checking in with them again a day or two before picking day um, to see if we have um, any new current results. If we don't, it's kind of out of my hands. It's, it's a situation that I don't necessarily want to be in because I have to keep a puppy out of the goose litter, and I'd really like to know who the father is before I do that. I can say with certainty, though, those black and tans are Guinness's puppies. I know that because I know the DNA coat color um, that the parents carry and um, basically Beamish doesn't carry that coat color so it's impossible for him to uh, make a black and tan puppy. So those are obviously Guinnesses. So anyways, I think this is pretty much it as far as the packet goes. I always um, send home a little bit of um, dry kibble that they um, have been on, um, sometimes uh, little treats if they've um, been eating you know, some of that Stella and Chewy freeze dry. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, for those of you that have puppies going into the Polish Puppy Program, we will talk a little bit more about the um, items that they'll need um, during that. Um, one is food that is covered and paid for by us through that time, so I'm going to need to know what food you're going to feed them. Don't have to make that decision now. We can literally make that decision over the phone when we chat about the puppy you choose. Um, their vaccines will be um, scheduled and um, given during the time that they're in training at 10 weeks old. So you'll need to schedule an appointment for when they're 14 weeks old. That's going to be two weeks after you get them. Call your vets now and ask them if they have parvo distemper only and the parvo only that they need at 18 weeks old. If you're not going to a holistic vet, which is really hard to come by here in Maine, they're probably not going to carry it. Um, they will try to talk you into a five-way or a seven-way. Uh, basically, that's five vaccines combined in one or seven vaccines combined in one. The seven-way is an absolute no-no. That one uh, carries uh, lepto. It has the lepto vaccine in it that I advised you against. Um, so... Try very hard to do the parvo distemper only. If you can, you can order it yourself in most states. It, you can't order it um, with just one vaccine. It comes with 25 doses. So I have had clients do that before, um, and they only need three doses out of it, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, and a booster at a year old. So the other vaccines can be donated, basically, to any veterinarian. I bet you they'll find a way to use them. Um, Anyways, again, more things we can chat about on the phone if you have questions, but this should get you going um, as far as, um, you know, the conversation goes and answering questions that uh, clients typically have when they pick up their puppy. All right, so I wish you all well, and I'm very much looking forward to talking to you pretty soon here on Puppy Picking Day. These puppies are um, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, um, and just wonderful little companions, um, I can tell already. Uh, but they all are. They're all so wonderful in their own little way, but as you can see, they're all starting to get their own little personalities, and it's just so fun to watch and interact with them. Um, I know that um, some of you probably would really love to visit and get your hands on the puppies, especially before you choose. Please, if you want uh, more of a personal connection with them, uh, we can FaceTime. Uh, we can Zoom, whatever works for you. I'm glad to get you closer to them um, and have you see how they react um, with us and our family and my kids. So if you need that extra bit um, of vision with them and interaction to help you choose, um, we're going to try to make this um, as easy as possible for you for from a distance. All right, so again, be well. Talk to you soon.